hair cashmere, super soft, baby's blanket hand feel with the most amazing, um, uh, how can I say this, knitting extravaganza boutique chic thing you could ever have. This sweater, honestly, um, I saw something similar to this that was my inspo for this sweater. It was 200 and 30 something dollars. It was like $38. And I was like, okay, we are, that ain't gonna happen with old Travis. That ain't, we're not getting that. And I said, well, why not I just make something very similar? Yeah. And we did, and here it is. It's oh. stunning. <coughs> I'm gonna put it this, on too while you show colors. I will, thank you. And you know what? <coughs> Excuse me, got a little dry. Do a lot of talking on TV. Um, but this is 60% poly, 40% acrylic. It is so soft. It feels like a sweater that you pick up when you're on vacation that has a gorgeous story behind it. And this one does too. Now, first and foremost, we have it for you in the dark loden. So this is a very a uh, solid mix of a light heather gray and that loden green. Great shot, thank you for that. And so you can see it playing together beautifully with the oatmeal color of the yarn. Now here, <coughs> excuse me, is Pinot Noir. So you have that pretty wine shade mixed in with a cream and then it's playing along beautifully with the oatmeal. <clears throat> then we have the indigo, that's the one that I've popped on. And that one is a pretty medium denim, a light denim, playing along beautifully with that oatmeal color. Now, this also has that geometric placement. It's got a V-neck, long sleeve. It is machine wash, but dry flat, please. And it ranges in length from 26 and a quarter to 32 and a half inches long. It is the only order of the year. I am five, six and a half. I'm wearing it in the size small. It's a nice relaxed fit. Kim, which one did you put on? I put on, I don't know what color we're calling Pinot this, Noir. I don't really care. Pinot Noir, whatever, uh, y'all. Uh, okay, so this, this is, <laughs> Chucky said no whining in the Pinot Noir. I can't even say that. Pina Colada, whatever you're going to call it, get it. Um, it is, this is a treat yourself moment, okay? So this is something you're not going to find anywhere, and it, it makes me feel expensive. That's all I can say. Like, I put it on, I'm like, and cozy, in and cool girl chic and all of the things. I love the geo. I love the I love the the softness of this. This is just hot. I'm gonna go join the girls. Hang on, okay. let me grab. You know what I love about this? Kim, I wanna tell you, I wanna tell you, I wanna share a bit. Hi girls! I wanna share a story with everybody. So I've talked Hi. to Kim about this a little bit, talked to everybody at home about it, chatting with you girls too. My mother is a knitter. And yeah. my mother is expert level knitter. Um, she used to knit, knit up samples for Vogue Knitting Magazine. Um, she uh -uh. knit, she used to knit some of the sweaters for the Olympic team years and years ago, years and years and years ago. She knit some of the Lillehammer Olympic sweaters. Right. Um, and so let me tell you, this lady she knows, knit. knows her knit. When it comes to a sweater at this price, she would look us all in the eye and say, yeah. get it. Because you know what? Even at her expert level, even with all of the skills that she has, you cannot buy the yarn and get this kind of look for a price under $74. You cannot. Mm -hmm. And so the other thing too, is if you have a natural fiber, you have to baby sweaters like this, like we did with the Lillehammer sweater. My mom made me one and oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. But you had to have it hermetically sealed because it could not take Correct. anything. This, yes, this is way softer, Kim, it than is. anything that you could and, find on your own. And I'm gonna tell you, like with all of your denims, I mean, just look at this with this like, it just looks, it almost looks a little boho too. You know yes. what I'm saying? It has that little bit of an easy feel. For sure. But like with all your denims and boots, it's a sweater that, it, it, when you get it home, you'll see what I'm saying. People will stop you and say, where did you get it? Because it's just that expensive looking. Yeah. I mean, easily a two in front of that seven. And it, it and not that we would ever want to pay that. Right. I, I would never, my husband would have a stroke. But yeah. it has that feel and look. Side slit. Um, a little bit extra longer sleeves. I love how you were showing it layered too, but when it just feels so good against the body, it has that mohair feel too. It's just, it's priceless. It's absolutely stunning.
order your true size. Ashley's 5'7", yes. she's wearing the extra, extra small, fits her perfectly. It's got a relaxed fit to it, so you don't have to worry about, am I getting the right one? Order your true size. I love it with the burnt henna boot cut that we had earlier in the show. Right. Super, look at, super cute. Look at look at my Pinar Noir with our <laughs> faux suede and Ponte. I can't even say that. She so. said, look at my Pinar Noir. I love you so much. <laughs> right. I love you so much. What's much. it called? What's my color called? And if called? somebody doesn't create a wine out in California called Pinar Noir, you messed up. That's, it. Um, That's right. We That's the southern version. Need it. Um, That's you the both... moonshine version. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kim, you and Jamie are wearing the same one. I You're know. both wearing that. Oh, my gosh. Is Pinar this Noir. Pinar Noir. Oh. Um, Pinar Grigio. Jamie's five. But look nine. at it. <laughs> She's wearing it in the size 1X. She's wearing it with the um, denim gotcha. that we have coming up. But, Kim, I love it with the faux suede. Do you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> look at mm -hmm. that. I'm mm -hmm. telling y'all, this sweater is, you're looking at going, really, I, do I need a sweater? You do. You need this sweater. There's two sweaters I would say get in this show. Yeah. This one and then this one coming up. Oh, that one coming you're covered. up is so cute. You're covered. What does, now I'm gonna flip mine inside out because I'm wearing it in the indigo. Can you explain to everybody, I want everybody to see the intricacy of this knit. What, yeah. can you define intarsia for us? Um, yeah, from what I understand in my limited you know, knitting experience, it's just all, all this pattern is knitted together at one time. With it. It. It's not a print, it's not um, an overlay. The print is knitted into the sweater. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and the hand feel of this is what is so yummy. It feels like mohair. It I feels agree. like cashmere. And I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna hold this really still too. Can we get uncomfortably close right there? I know that's my belly, and traditionally for a director to say, "Can you shoot my belly yeah. really close?" Every director would just shake. Um, but, look at that. <laughs> but thank you. It's gorgeous. But look at the different colors in each right. and every sweater. Right. Beautiful. Each and Beautiful. I just love that it's a light indigo, a medium indigo, a dark yes. indigo. It's yes. going to go with all your washes of denim. Um, by the way, that you said which one, Chunky, is the Pinot Noir? The one that Jamie has Are we on, calling it that, that or are we just going to go ahead and I, I think we should go ahead uh, and graphically Pinar change Noir. it to Pinot Noir. Um, I don't know why not. But um, they're working on it upstairs. But if you want you. the Pinar Noir, um, please don't wait uh, because it is going very, very quickly. 500 have already been picked up in our show. Here's the other deal, too. I love the indigo for all your denims. Dare I say, I this is like a little blend of Southwestern-inspired and apres ski. It is. It is. Oh, oh. And I don't even know what, I don't even know what apres ski I don't, my, my skiing experience is having the little one inch snow that we have here and riding mm -hmm. down on a trash can. Leah. Mm -hmm. That is my mm -hmm. experience with ski. So what does apres ski mean? Does that it, mean just a lot of money? It, it means a lot of money. Um, okay. It, it means well, like it looks like cash. Uh, it okay. just. Well, then that is the answer. It that looks like it. you just came out of the uh, ski school in Austria and you're like, oh, is our ride here? And then you just okay. kind of Does trail off. Okay, it even off. snow in Austria? I didn't even know it snowed there. It sure does. It sure does. Okay. You get that didn't little know. powder See, I'm snow. learning. I know. It's so beautiful. Um, you know what? This is the only order of the year. So quickly, Dark Loden, Pinar Noir. I love the Dark Loden. And Pinar Noir. <laughs> I got chunky on that. Um, and then here is the Indigo. <laughs> oh, no. Kim, we love I you love so much. Too. You teach us things every day. But I can't say it. Listen, you've Shoot. heard, have you ever heard me try to say toasted coconut? I have to slow down. Toast, do, it, do it fast. Do it coasted fast. coconut. Toasted coconut. I, I say, I say coasted coconut. I can't say without slowing down. I can't say toasted coconut. There it is. Woo. I know. I know. We're moving on. <laughs>